Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including my email and the uh, readings that I offer. Yeah, read through the readings that I offer and let me know if you'd like to, what you'd like to move forward with. If you have trouble deciding, please email me. Let me know a little about the situation. We'll chat. We'll have a little chitsky chatsky, and then I'll help you figure it out. Yes? So, moving forward. Oh, also, I'm sorry. Keep in mind, these energies, uh, the, the readings are meant to be timeless. So, just because it's coming through for the month of June, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for June, okay? Even if you read, find the reading months later and it resonates for you, then that's the right message for you at that time, okay? Cool. Um, moving forward, so we are doing the general freestyle reading here with the Golden Universal Tarot. If you're new to the channel, you are about to get a feel of how the freestyle reading works, okay? And if you would like to order one, you'll have an, an understanding. You won't be able to see the spread because we're going to be having a face-to-face -face conversation. But with, if you were to order a personal reading, you would see just the spread, all right? Um, and then we're going to close out the reading with Oracle Guidance as usual. But this month, I've decided to get a brand new Oracle. I'm going to be using the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild. I love this deck, you guys. The messages are right on point. Like, this is like the perfect companion deck for the readings that are going out this month. I'm really, really happy and excited about it. Okay, let's get into this. There is a pre-shuffle energy here. Um, we are dealing, for you Capricorn, we're dealing with counterparts. Counterparts in terms of the king and the queen of cups. Okay, now this could be, it's entirely possible that this could be uh, your inner masculine and feminine energies. That's entirely possible. Um, you also could be dealing with a Cancerian energy, which is really interesting because Cancer is the opposite sign to you in the Zodiac, okay? Uh, Cancer and Capricorn are opposites. Um, so already this is kind of telling me that you might want to watch the Cancer video that might actually really resonate with you or your situation. Even if you don't have Cancer in your chart or the person that you would be cross-watching for doesn't have Cancer in your chart, I feel like you still might want to watch it. It still might resonate with you, okay? Now, on the feminine side of this situation, you have the Fool, the Queen of Cups, and the Chariot, all right? It's almost as if the feminine here, the feminine counterpart or whatnot, or the feminine energy within you desires to cut free, to break free, to take a leap of faith and move in a different direction. It's almost as if what I'm feeling here, it's like she's packing up her emotions and all of her shit and she's going somewhere else, okay? Because there are some pretty heavy burdens in this situation, either between the two of you, 10 of wands, either between the two of you or just for you, if we're talking masculine and feminine energy within, whatever you're dealing with, there are too many burdens. And it really kind of feels like the Queen of Cups here has every intention of dropping all sense of responsibility here and moving forward with what's best for her, moving forward with, with what is more in alignment with her. Now, the, when I say him or her, I'm talking energy, not gender, okay? Then we get into the masculine side. We have the King of Cups with the Two of Pentacles, all right? So from a masculine point of view, this masculine counterpart is probably just trying to keep up appearance is probably just juggling things is probably just making it look like they're not affected or or um burdened or hurt or whatever by this by this queen of cups moving forward in a different direction taking a leap of faith and saying fuck this i'm out of here and the masculine is just like whatever dude this doesn't bother me when deep down they're probably feeling pretty emotional about it they're probably pretty um distraught because they also recognize the burdens here in the Ten of Wands. But I kind of feel like it, they're not really doing anything about it. And that's what's influencing this Queen of Cups here to say, screw this. If you don't want to do anything about it, I'm not going to do anything about it either. And I'm just going to move forward. I'm going to move on and do whatever it is I need to do for myself. And the King of Cups is sitting here like, peace be with you? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa. So the King of Cups may not care. And is just going about his business. Another day in the life. Same shit, different toilet. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Well, no, you shouldn't be surprised if you're not going to take action. <laughs> you know, that's literally the definition of insanity. Doing things the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Doing things the same way over and over. Now, on the other hand, if we're talking about your own inner masculine and feminine energy, then from a masculine point of view, from the action point of view here, you are keeping up appearance, saving face, um, straddling. You're in between worlds right now. You're just trying to keep the balance even though you're in the process of going in a brand new direction. Like emotionally, you are working on taping a, taking a leap of faith. <laughs> So King of Cups wise or action wise, you're in this interim place where you're just trying to make ends meet, I'm hearing, keep the balance, maybe not ruffle too many feathers in this process of moving forward somehow. All right, Capricorn. So that was your pre-shuffle. I'm going to reset this a little bit and then we'll see what we've got for your month of June here. Give this one shuffle. Alrighty. Here we go, Cappy. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of June 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cap, five shuffles. Um, also keep in mind that you guys, you could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio uh, or Cancer. Um, you also could be dealing with a Pisces with the Fool. Shuffle number two for my Capricorns. Archangel Michael. Um, Oh, I'm seeing white for you, Capricorn. So there is a level of purity and innocence here that someone is coming fr up from. And I feel like that's whatever, whoever is symbolized here by the Queen of Cups, or at least from, the, from an emotional side point of view, there is a sense of, of, um, of innocence or purity that you're kind of reclaiming. Three. Four and five. Four my Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2019, or at least just whenever this resonates for you, okay? Boop. All right, Cap. Overall energy. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Standing strong, standing firm on your own two feet. Maybe being single. So yeah, some of you could be leaving a relationship right now. That's a good thing. You could have Virgo in your chart. You could be dealing with a Virgo as the Nine of Pentacles does represent Virgo energy. Hey, the King of Wands. Wow. Stepping into your power, very sure of yourself. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could also have Leo in your chart or another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius. But this just really feels like being in your independence and feeling very sure of yourself. Also knowing what you want and going after it while also knowing when the right time to strike is, biding your time in a sense. Ah, but then you have the Five of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. There is definitely some opposition, some competition here in terms of the new direction that you're moving in. But to be quite honest, Sagittarius, someone straight up doesn't give a shit. He's not even looking at that five, that competition behind him. Like, whatever, y'all. You can do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. It's not going to affect me. 
Also, the advice would be to keep your mind off of this def d d d destructive energy. Don't even worry, worry about it. Do not waste your time or energy. But I kind of feel like you're not. You are not even interested. All right, cool. So getting into your overall energy here, not your overall energy, I'm sorry, the rest of your reading here, first half and second half. You can look at this as the first half of your month and the second half of your month. Uh, but it doesn't have to be that way. I kind of suggest that you don't because energy is fluid, time is an illusion. So these messages can inter intertwine, interact at any moment in any way. So I would say recommend looking at it first half, second half of your reading. But if it does resonate as the first half, second half of your month, go with it. Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. We've got the three of swords. Yes. That's quite fitting, don't you think? There is some sort of heartbreak. There really is an energy of someone not taking action. This King of Wands and the Five of Swords could be this person that's just really prideful and really egoic, really self-centered, and is not really interested in doing anything other than what pleases them. And that could be where the Five of Swords energy is coming into play. That could also be why you have this Three of Swords. And then with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like you're standing on your own here in the face of that. Okay, but it also could be the nine, the nine of Pentacles with the King of Wands saying, nah, -uh, no, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this any longer. I know what I want and I'm moving forward. And there could be conflict, competition, uh, uh, sabotage or attempts at sabotage. Don't even waste your time focusing on that. Three of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Swords. Now someone understands. Now somebody knows. Someone has the knowledge and the ability, the tenacity, I, want, I just heard, it, to move forward in the face of this. But also it's like you learned the lesson through this. You learned, okay, you get it now. You can move forward. Or somebody found out about some sort of infidelity. It's entirely possible. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. We have the Five of Wands. Okay, conflict. Conflict of interest, co uh, differing of opinion. There may be some people around you that are kind of like giving you the side eye, like screw face, like why are you, why are you doing that? Why are you leaving this person? Why are you going in that direction? Because I want to. I heard because it's what's best for me. Good enough a reason as any, to be quite honest, Cap. Five of Wands is coupled with death. Scorpio energy, potentially. But this is a transformation. So actually, you could also be a bit conflicted about this, about this transformation or this change that you're working on making. But also, other people around you could be like, what? I don't get it. Where is this coming from? Well, this is where it's coming from. Three of Swords, Ace of Swords. And obviously, you might not know about that because I didn't tell you. I also don't need to tell you. I am free to make whatever sort of decision that I want or that I need to that is best for me. Okie dokie. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have the Six of Cups. The past, reminiscent. You might have to overcome some sort of uh, reminiscent hurdle. There might be a lot of good times that you have, good memories that you have of whatever situation you're now leaving or tr leaving behind you or transforming out of um, that could make it a bit challenging to really let go of. But there's no reason to not cherish those moments, especially if they were really great. But you do kind of have to look at the bigger picture. The past is involved. Maybe a soulmate type energy is involved here. That could be what's making it so hard or challenging for you to move forward. Okay? We do have a soulmate situation because, yeah, the king and queen of cups came out. So there's this, like a soulmate or counterpart type situation. But, okay, six of cups is coupled with, yeah, but look, the ten of wands. There's burdens here. Releasing the burdens from the past. 
And it's almost as if, if there are reminiscent energies here, it's like those reminiscent energies are actually making it much harder for you to move on. So you have to release them. And we don't mean releasing them in terms of like bashing them or trying to rip them to shreds. No, they were a good part of your life. You should honor them. But that doesn't mean that that's why you have to stay connected to a situation that's just destructive. Yeah? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you have ah, the Ten of Cups, moving towards emotional fulfillment. Yes, Ten of Cups is coupled with the Page of Cups. When you clear away this energy, you have the ability and clear an open space to dream of what you truly desire. Okay? Maybe there could be some reconciliation coming towards you because in this sense, yes, you do have a soulmate partnership that you don't necessarily want to let go of or you don't necessarily need to let go of because someone is really willing to do the work. And that could be some of where this challenging, combative or um, uh, jealous or uh, just differing of opinion type energy is coming from through this transformation. Because maybe the situation is, maybe you're staying with these, this person, but the situation is changing, transforming from toxic to healthy. It's entirely possible. How likely that is is debatable, I guess, but like, whatever, this is a general reading, take it as it resonates. But ultimately, you're clearing the way for you to dream up your emotional wish fulfillment or your emotional, ultimate emotional fulfillment, yeah? But that takes clearing away the burdens here. The burdens from the past, specifically. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, first set of surrounding energies, you have the Knight of Cups. There is, there really could be a transformation that's happening within this relationship. That could come from somebody standing up for themselves and reclaiming their independence. Making it very clear that you're not going to allow yourself to be manipulated by someone because you're Gucci, Fendi, Prada all on your own. You don't need anybody else. Especially not if they're going to come at you with this jealous, combative, backstabbing, sabotaging bullshit. This shit starter energy. Like, fuck that. I don't need that shit in my life. No. But then as soon as you lay down that law or that boundary, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't leave me. Yeah, well. It's going to take more than just words. I can tell you that. Okay. Knight of Cups is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. It's almost as if someone recognized, now here you are, Capricorn, in the Queen of Pentacles. This officially is your archetype, other than the devil. Now, this could also be another earth sign, Virgo or Taurus. But it's almost as if someone here is like recognizing what they're about to lose in this beautiful, confident, um, nurturing, loving, caring, mother type energy in the Queen of Pentacles doesn't have to be a woman. It can be a man. We're talking energy here. But it's almost as if someone recognizes what they're about to lose and they don't want to lose that. But the Queen of Pentacles says actions speak louder than words. You can talk your, talk your jaw off all you want. But if you're not backing up without, with action, I am gone, motherfucker. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. You got the Four of Cups. Is this a missed opportunity? Will there be a missed opportunity? Has there been a missed opportunity? Unrequited love, sure. But this really feels more like a missed opportunity. And this kind of feels like someone from the past is recognizing the missed opportunity at hand. Maybe they're, now, maybe they're just now starting to realize it. Four of Cups is coupled with the Emperor. Shit, I really fucked up, didn't I? Maybe because you were just too controlling. You, Capricorn, or maybe someone else you're dealing with. That's kind of what this feels like. You were Someone was so controlling that they kind of like squashed and completely missed it. Squashed the opportunity like a freaking bug. 
gut spilled everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you could be dealing with an Aries also. You could have Aries in your chart. But this is also someone taking their power back or taking control of their lives in terms of or in the face of a missed opportunity. Okay. Your uh, challenge in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have the Page of Pentacles. Starting over. I really do feel like somebody wants to start over here. But again, again, actions speak louder than words. And that is what the Page of Pentacles is all about. The Page of Pentacles is not a talker. He's a doer. Sure, he's naive, innocent. He's new at it. Probably going to make a few mistakes here or there because he's still trying to learn. But damn, is he eager to learn. And damn, is he eager to do, to create, to get things done, to follow through with that which he has decided to move forward with. Actions speak louder than words. If you really want to rebuild this, if you really want to start over, then prove it. Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The challenge is starting over. I'm hearing make, making ends meet. That's a weird one. That's going to resonate with someone out there. Maybe this has to do with business. Maybe this is a situation, this is a financial partnership a business partnership and someone was not pulling their weight or maybe this is a romantic partnership and someone was not pulling their weight and thus there was a challenge in making ends meet okay Woo! all right closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here capricorn there's that queen of cups again compassion understanding empathy forgiveness But also keeping your emotions in check and not allowing yourself to be taken advantage of any longer. While still allowing yourself to remain compassionate and understanding and forgiving. Okay. Uh, you could also be dealing with Cancerian energy. Queen of Cups is coupled with... Yeah, the Two of Swords, though. Yeah, someone is feeling the emotions. Mmm... Ooh, but, but then the question is, are you just pulling on my heartstrings? Are you just telling me what I want to hear or what I need to hear so that I can open back up to you emotionally? I don't know if I want to give in to this or not. Can I trust you? I'm not so sure. You might want to show me something. Okay. Loud and clear. Message has been received. That's what I just heard. Okay, we're going to move forward then, Capricorn, to your... Um, hold on. We're going to move to your oracle section, but I am also being asked to point this out. You do have the Ace of Pentacles here as the last card of your overall energy underneath the deck. Um... Ooh, and the Ace of Wands underneath that. Okay. Yeah, someone feels inspired either to move in a completely different direction or to start over. Again. And I think I want to title this in the reading. The title of the reading is Actions Speak Louder Than Words. Okay. Now, we're going to get into the Oracle Guidance, yeah? Here we go, Capricorn. I'm going to give this three shuffles. For my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2019, or for whenever this resonates with you, yeah? Here we go, Cap. Best message, please, Spirit. For June, for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Yep. Here you go. We have card number 24. A new birth guarded 
vigilantly. This is another long one. Okay, some, some of these can be pretty long, but you know what? Just bear with me here. All right, a new birth guarded vigilantly. In every creative process, in every birth, in every opening of a new cycle, there is a time of vulnerability. This vulnerability is natural and appropriate. It is the foal, foal, yeah, learning to become steady on its legs. Those legs, is that supposed to be foul? I don't know, foal, F-O-A-L. I don't know, I've never heard that term, but anyway, we're gonna go with it. Those legs will become remarkably powerful in time, but the process of growth and maturity has to take place, and that requires some wobbly first attempts. It cannot be any other way. And that's exactly how I see the energies of the, of the Page of Pentacles when someone is uh, coming into a new, a new level, okay? Within you, perhaps even below the level of your conscious awareness, there is a fresh new life emerging like a vibrant green shoot rising up from the earth. This new life is in need of your attention and your care. This could be a new relationship that needs tending with interest and kindness. It could be a new idea that you need to nurture into fullness because it is going to hold special purpose for your life path. It might be something within you, a new behavior, a new way of looking at yourself, or a new way of beginning in the world that you need to tend to until it becomes more natural for you to embody. This is most significantly so if you have also drawn the oracle of defend to the end the worthwhile, but we haven't drawn that. Moving forward. Okay, moving forward. You must pay attention to the new life emerging for you now, or that will soon arise. I'm sorry, you must pay attention to the new life emerging for you now, or that you will soon sense. There you go. You might not be careless, uh, you must not be careless and think it doesn't matter. It matters greatly. Being careless now is akin to killing off the idea before it has a chance to grow strong enough to withstand the criticism, jealousy, or sabotage by dark consciousness in others or yourself. You don't have to be frightened or destructive of, you don't have to be frightened of destructive energy. It exists in nature and in us and is a part of life. You do, however, need to be intelligent to its potential power and stay centered in our heart and in our wisdom to avoid its ill effect upon that which you are nurturing into life. You will not always need to cloak that which is young. Soon enough, it will be able to stand up for itself. But for now, your vigilance and care is most certainly required. Hug your ideas to yourself as though they were a new lover you cannot bear to share with another. In time, the world will be the lover receiving... In time, the world will be the lover receiving the new... The love if, in your idea. What? Okay, I get it now. In time, the world will be the lover receiving the love in your idea. That's a difficult one, but you'll get it eventually. For now, it is for you to love, for you to hold, and for you to observe. Only allow those proven to be trustworthy to support you in this, those who can handle the frequency or vibration of what you are seeking to nurture. Some may love you, but be frightened of what you're creating. Stay true to yourself and your creative power, and be wise as to whom you invite into your inner sanctum to witness this new life emerging. This oracle also brings particular guidance about keeping your inner sanctuary pure. This may be your room, a sacred, sacred place you visit, or your own body into which you retreat in relaxation or meditation. Sometimes you will find that others have taken up residence in your sanctuary. Perhaps an argument that you cannot let go of has another living in your head. A suffering that has not been acknowledged and released can feel like a big, old, dirty suitcase of emo emotional baggage cluttering up the temple space of your heart. It is time to focus on the purity, light, 
love, and compassion that dwells within you. Everything else will come and go, and that's just fine. But the purity within your sanctuary is eternal. You can come back to it, refresh your spirit, and gain resources to help you deal with the rest of the world and even your own darker moments anew. It will give you the peace and spaciousness of mind you need to recognize the new life and to compassionately but firmly denounce any intrusion upon that new life by doubt, fear, or sabotage. So there you have it, Sag. Sag, no, Capricorn. I just did Sag right before you. There you have it, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this reading was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. With that said, I wish you guys a fantastic June, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye.